this hellish landscape, we are given hope once again by the gosh dang National Guard, baby. Woo! We start this video out about the lawsuit that was just filed involving Colonel Bogart that was just released in a Rockbridge Advocate article today. <clears throat> The only way I know how. I want to tell you how I got this way, and then I want to give you a quote from a text message. I have had a psychotic mother-in-law since I got married when I was 22. And that, that sound is my fan. It's not been, and father-in-law, they're both, they're both psychotic, but they appear to be the nicest people on the planet. It's one of the most sick, dysfunctional it's the most sick, dysfunctional thing I've ever experienced, and I've endured it for decades. Not passively, but um, it's, a, it's a messy, complicated thing, and I finally dealt with it. Well, that taught me a lot, and I see through things very quickly now. So when that happens to you, you pick up on it. You have like this really tuned-in detector and that's what's going on in uh, several situations at VMI now. This VMI, uh, a lawsuit was just announced for $15 million by one gentleman named Colonel Pegg. I've never heard of Colonel Pegg. So I sent this article to someone I trust, and this is the text message I got back. Threaten the dude that has a confirmed entrenchment tool, entrenching tool, kill. <laughs> and more guns than the National Guard. Well, I'm getting all jazzed up. I'm getting all jazzed up. So let's read the article. The title on the cover is VMI Citizen Soldier Sues School for $15 million. The subtitle is Deputy Commandant Colonel Tom Pegg was deployed by the National Guard he wanted his job back when he returned. Instead, he was offered a pay cut. So you should be able to find this online. This is the part that is most telling about the environment that's been created by the leadership team at VMI. Um, it says, Bogart made it very clear that he did not wish Colonel Pegg to return to his position. Okay, so Colonel Pegg deployed with the National Guard. There's rules about this. He notified them properly. He should have been given his job back when he returned. Um, it says Bogart made it very clear that he did not wish Colonel Pegg to return to his position and was enraged about Pegg's pushback on various changes. Oh, there's no changes going on. And other actions. Quote, this is a quote from Colonel Bogart. I know people all over the Army, Colonel Bogart claimed in his office to Colonel Pegg, stating he would, quote, Call your bosses a boss's boss's boss in order to not put up with some colonel. Bogart threatened Colonel Pegg's livelihood and retirement benefits with claims of undue influence over both the military and VMI, including the Army G1 responsible for all pay, promotions, and retirement functions, and the other senior officers Colonel Pegg was about to be assigned under in Iraq. Bogart repeatedly made it clear in advance that if Colonel Pegg left for deployment, he would not be welcomed back at VMI after his deployment ended, which is a violation of USERRA. There's a lot of details here. He followed all the rules and guidelines, and his pay, his promotion, his um, retirement contributions, all kinds of things were impacted. So, so Pegg went on to notify the inspector general of what had happened, et cetera, et cetera. They did exactly what they did when I called them about the cadets not getting fed. They didn't investigate. You know what I found out about the inspector general? The inspector general reports to General Wins. So whatever General Wins doesn't want investigated, I guess they just don't get around to it. So $15 million. Now my last video, a couple videos back where I was tallying things up, I have since learned that that number is way low. So I need to give you another update. But here's a $15 million lawsuit to throw on the pile with this great, virtuous, ethical, moral, in integrity-filled leadership team that's been put together at VMI. Yeah, 
not saying it. Sometimes you just need some of that National Guardsman and you just go, ah, yeah, you know what, but this is the right thing to do, so go fuck yourself. And you're like, have a nice day, sir, with all due respect.